Hello, so this is the, we're looking at Imagine, <clears throat> we're looking at the verse, sorry for the wobbly table guys, let me see if I can, everything wobbles, got it, okay, so we're looking at the verse, we're looking at the chord part now, so what you should have gotten at the beginning of the week is these chords, uh, you should have gotten a PDF file, you can be looking at this on your PC or mobile device, or print them up, uh, so you can have some music there to look at. But um, we should be looking at two or four measures of chords, and then the melody comes in playing. I labeled the chords, but then I also went ahead and wrote them in, so you can kind of see what we're doing strumming-wise. It's kind of this thing. Now, we're not strumming with a pick. We're blocking. <clears throat> so the idea here uh, is going to be, well, let's go over our chords first. So the chords we are going to have are a C, and this is your good old C, okay? Nothing funny here. Now at the end of that first measure, it's going to switch to a C major 7 chord, and all you're going to do for that, guys, is take your one finger off, okay? Because this is a C note. Remember, a major seven is just we keep stacking those thirds one more time. So we have C, E, G, and we need a B note way on top. And there it is. And if you notice, guys, that seven is also just a half step or one fret down from the root. We keep stacking up to the major seven, but it's also the note that's directly below by a half step from the root. So you're playing a C, then you remove that for the C major 7, and that's just one beat. And then we go to an F. Now, guys, we're going to use a different voicing than we've, usually, than we've been using for an F because we got to have a finger free because we're blocking and we're not strumming. This is actually kind of be considered like a suspended voicing, I guess, or actually an add 4. C sus add 3. But anyway, so um, it's going to be a little bit different than what we're used to doing for uh, an F. An F can look like this. An F can look like a bar chord. What we're going to do for this song is we're going to go bar and then third finger on uh, D3, second finger on G2. Okay, now the only notes we're going to be playing because of our technique we're using is going to be the notes on the D string, G string, and B string, and then the low E. So it's okay, we don't need to have a finger on this note, which we need to do because we got to free up our pinky to do something in a second. And uh, I'll show you what that is. So again, just to run over what our chords are, it starts with C, quickly to a C major 7, and then you're going to drop both of those fingers down and bring that one finger around behind it for that F. Okay? So, let's go over what our right hand's doing. So, we're going to have... Uh, D string, G string, B string, D, G, B, okay, and those are all going to be hitting at the same time, so whatever we're playing on those strings, we're just going to hit them all again, it's called a block, and then we're going to be interspersing the root note with our thumb, so if we have a C chord, our root note so again, this is D, G, and B. Our root note's going to be on the A string for that C note. If you look at your music, it's that note. It's the stack of those three. That's these three, followed by a low note, C, the line directly under. Sorry, guys, I keep pointing at my screen, and you obviously can't see it. But the line directly underneath uh, the staff. First line under the staff. So... Uh, what it's going to look like with your right hand is, and then repeat. So, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. And this right now, I'm holding a C chord, okay? 
Uh, guys, try to maintain that good classical technique, that neutral wrist. Not bent this way, this way, this way, this way, just neutral. And the whole motion is back with your fingers. It's not pulling, it's not twisting. It's just a motion back, back towards your wrist, or the bridge, back towards the bridge. Okay? So, uh, let's go ahead and just play the first measure then. So you're going to have C. You're going to do that three times. The last time, you're going to turn it into a C major 7. So all you're going to do is 1, 2, 3, major 7. And again, that's just removing that one finger and leaving the B string open. So that's the first measure. Okay? Then directly from that, you're going from here. You've already lifted your one finger, so you're going to drop it across all the strings. And really, guys, the two strings that you have to hit are obviously the low E and then you gotta get up here to this B. So you don't have to think about like pressing, pressing, and having a perfectly straight finger. It's actually kinda curving, getting from here and then coming down here with this part of the finger and hitting that B string and, and the E string, the high E string. But uh, it doesn't have to be a perfect bar, guys, because again, we're blocking. We're not trying to get all the strings, just, just the ones we're trying to hear. So uh, again, C major seven, change to that new chord and guys it's pretty so again you're just bringing that here and then dropping these two fingers down okay so uh, again we're gonna do this once we get to that F we're gonna do it three times and then we have this little riff here at the end now what this is and this is the whole reason why we're using this different F is this little little chromatic thing that he puts in there so um, except you're not gonna go up like that you're gonna go second fret G string third fret G string up to open B so it's a B flat B natural now those first two notes are just hammered on so you're here the same finger you've been using on the G string, just take your second finger, hit this note, and then hammer on to fret three, fret two, hammer on to three, and then lift everything and hit that open B string again. Hammer open. And then that'll land you back to C. play through it a couple times with a metronome uh, and maybe we can hear how the the computer is going to be playing the little vocal melody too so you can hear that along with it here it goes one three four one two ready Work on that, make sure you have the melody down, 
and good luck.